Welcome to South Padre Island and today's tour of East La Blanca Park with an impromptu interview with a fellow YouTuber, Brian from Life Uninterrupted. Hi, I'm Don with Cowboy Biker Adventures. Thank you for coming along this tour of East La Blanca Park. I think you're going to like it. Here I am coming up to the entrance, about ready to enter the park. Just listening to the conversation, I asked a lot of questions, and next to the guy you can see the price is posted. Did I get a 30 day pass? No, sir. You have to go to the main office for that. Okay. Is there any in and out? With this one? Yeah, you're going in and out from 11 p.m. to the night. Uh, with the, to, with the pass for the day? Pass here. Yeah, with the day pass. Gotcha. And the uh, spikes? I can go over it with a motorcycle? Yeah, that's the only way out. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, can I fly a drone in here? No. My mistake was I did not do a viewing when you told me that I could not buy the monthly pass here and go back to the office, which is probably a quarter mile behind me and purchase the month pass like I did at the end of the video. So because of that, I kind of threw away $12 with the day pass. At first, I'm going to ride around the perimeter of this park. This is a loop that goes around the park. I did sped up the loop to 150% of what I actually rode the loop. The loop first covers the bay side of the park. Keep in mind this park is on the very southern tip of South Padre Island. After that we will go down the other side, uh, still on the loop, covering the channel side. And then we will then cover the east side of the park, which is the Gulf Water side. Straight ahead is the amphitheater, which unfortunately is closed due to COVID. And next up will be the boat launch on the bay side before we get back on this loop going down the channel side of the island. By the way, later on in the video, I will include a map of this park and also the rules and regulation and prices. statue coming up on the channel side in the most southern part of the island translates to Christ of the Fisher. More about this memorial after the credits. If you'll stick around after the credits, I'll show you more about this statue. Let me 
get parked here and let's go for a walk on the beach. You'll get a glimpse of the jetty, which is the cut through for the channel to Brownsville and the most southern tip of South Pottery Island. On my back I float there, hear the crickets chirping away. jetty to my back facing north towards the main part of South Padre Island on the Gulf side. This will be the Gulf side, and you can see that they have plenty of places to park them so you can go out and play on the beach or go fishing. Also, they have many amenities, so you can see some of them as I'm driving by. And of course, some of them are closed due to COVID. Well, why didn't you, why didn't you? Uh, will be the RV portion of this park. I will be showing you all the RV spots and sites, so stick around. channel side of the RV park and then from there I will start going down every other row so you can get a good look of all the sites. This is a large park. I will be playing this at 125% so it will go back a little bit quicker. And remember, I will be including the map and the rules and the prices for this park. So stick around for that also.
also notice the sites vary dramatically. Some have concrete pads, some don't. I stayed at the KOA next door to this park for five weeks. And when my time was up, I was thinking about coming over here for a month. When I started checking out the sites closer and talked to some of the people, I realized a lot of sites had stickers. And I had that experience when I was at a park in Wesley Cove, and I did not want that again. And considering you had to pay electricity here, and I didn't have to pay at KOA the electricity, there was not that much difference in prices. My only problem is I could not extend my stay in the KOA because they was all filled up with the large sites that I need. If you're interested in seeing that KOA review, I will link the video above and below. Look at that fence ahead. On the other side of it is that loop that goes around this park. That happens to be the bayside, and that is where I drove when I first came into the park. Again, when I show the map to this park, it will all make more sense about the layout.
across the fellow YouTubers Brian and Shauna from Life Uninterrupted. Again, stick around to after the credits to see that impromptu interview with Brian. I think you'll like it. You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves and they're spilling in I want to dry up but you Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I want to bury the hatchet And find the way back to our home Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome let us fade away It's not a price I want to pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home But nevertheless, we were true to each other But now we don't even bother I remember you being hopeful But the tall waves have worn us down Please stick around to after the credits to get bonus video of the statue and also more information about it, plus the interview with Brian from Life Uninterrupted. And also when I go in after leaving this park to the office and try to upgrade my daily pass to the month pass. I want to thank you for coming along on this tour of East of Blanca Park. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to see adventure videos about once a week, please subscribe and ring the bell. That way you will not miss any future videos. Remember, YouTube does not send out any spam, and neither do I. So until next time, have a good one. Thank you for sticking around after the credits for a bonus video. First up is more video of this statue and information about it. I will not try to pronounce the name of this memorial, but it translates to Christ of the Fisherman and is located on the south end of the island of the park. The memorial was dedicated to the Brownsville and also Port Isabel Shrimp Producers Association in memory of of a couple of fishermen. Around the base of the statue of Jesus is an inscription that reads, Father, receive the souls of these brave fishermen who have sailed through this pass and never returned. Next up is Brian from Life Uninterrupted. Hey, I don't want to bug you. I just want to say hi. Watch your channel. Oh, do you? Yeah. I'm filming the park myself right now but I just have a small, small channel. So, uh, RV and full-time. RV and full-time. Yeah, uh, no, no, the name of it is Cowboy Biker Cowboy Adventures. Cowboy Biker, yeah, I was gonna say, I knew it was Biker something, I recognized yeah. the face. But. Yeah, Cowboy Biker Adventures. So, cool. anyhow, uh, I'm at KOA next door for a month, but uh, I just thought I'd come film this one, see what it's like. Yeah. Kinda wish I'd stayed here. It's, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, these are these spots are much larger. Across the street are much smaller. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, with my I only have motorcycles, so with my enclosed trailer, I'm I'm 50 foot, and I don't like to disconnect, so that limits uh, eliminates some of the spots. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. What was your name? Brian. Ryan. Brian and Sean. Brian. Brian and Sean. Yeah. I'm Don, by the way. Hi, Don. Anyhow, I bugged you enough. But I, 
I do watch your channel a lot. Thank you. Now, I used to watch about 50 people, but uh, once you start making videos yourself, you don't have the time. No, not at all. We, we very seldom, we watch maybe two or three other channels that we, we're familiar with and we're friends with on the road, but that's about it. Yeah, you just don't have time. It takes up too much time to live and edit video. That's right, yeah. It, uh, it really is. Depending how, I mean, Well, yeah, I, I find that it's about a, it's about an hour a minute for me. Yeah, right. And uh, that's not including uh, the rendering or the upload. Right. Obviously, it's, it's kind of, yeah, it's time consuming. But, you know, and when you're small, you get no money for it. Right, but uh, you know, it, it takes an interest. So once you start uh, building your, your audience. And... Yeah. Well, I'm not in it for the money. You know, I, I, I'm alone, so I'm trying to feel a connection and share with people. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's you know, really what we're doing is where we have no interest to get to. You know, if it happens, it happens, but we're not actively trying to get to you know, hundreds of thousands of subscribers. It's just not us. Right, yeah. right. But if it happens, like you said. If it happens, it happens, but we're not going to try to make it happen. <laughs> You're not making your living on this. Right, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's good meeting you. Y'all yeah, nice. take care. Stay with me as I next go into the office of this part to see if I can transfer my day pass into a month pass. Also, after that, I'll show the map and the rules and regulations and prices of this part. So thank you for staying around to the end. So until next time, have a good one. I just went through the park mm -hmm. and uh, I couldn't buy the one month. Can I can I transfer it over to a month pass? What do you mean? I bought a day pass. I'd like to convert it to a month. Can I? Okay, I need a month pass. Let's try to be $30.